Briefings continue today for AFP Chief Hernando Iriberi. The new AFP Chief wants to have a bird's eye view of the situation in each of the major military commands to guide him in the leading in leading the armed forces of the Philippines. More from this report. Security briefing for Lieutenant General Hernando Iriberi continues in his second week as AFP chief. In an exclusive interview, he stated his itineraries for the coming weeks. He noted the importance of determining the status of the Philippine Army, Air Force, Navy and Marines as well as the unified commands. With this, he can identify what needs to be addressed. Ng ating armed forces at iba't ibang uh, uh, major services. At alam mo naman, dati lang ako sa Army, kaya nakapokus lang ako doon sa <coughs> Philippine Army. Ngayon na buong armed forces na I have to be brief. As the tensions in the West Philippine Sea escalate, Iriberi plans to pay a visit to the AFP Western Command Base in Palawan. This will be followed by issuing directives on what should be the main focus. First is uh, yung West Coast, ang una kong puntahan. Why West Coast? Uh, para itong napaka-carried kasi yung, uh, yung tungkol sa, andyan, lumalabas yung mga issues tungkol sa West Philippine Sea. So gusto ko rin bigdan, bigyan din ang, uh, yung kung ano ang mga problema at saka kung ano ang magkaroon ako ng clearer picture. Kung ano ang sitwasyon. Last Saturday, Admiral Scott Swift, commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, conducted seven-hour patrol over West Philippine Sea using a P-8A Poseidon. During Swift's four-day visit, he met with Iriberi and Vice Admiral Jesus Milan and discussed intensifying their capability in times of calamities and military exercises. Iriberi said there is nothing illegal with the seven-hour patrol.